Zeroff versus Madouan El Class. A reserve tournament match. Two strong and talented fighters prepared to step into the tournament if injuries occur. Battling to secure their places for the next rounds. Stay tuned, 8TKO.com. The next fight, ladies and gentlemen, is the reserve fight for the 8TKO tournament. Fighting out of the blue corner representing Morocco, Manuan El Clas. So they're on the same level, you know, they're not stepping in fresh. Good alpha. Well, there he is, Marwan L class. Well, his opponent fighting out of the red corner representing Russia. Zahid Zaira! Well, let's see if he's going to be explosive against his opponent. He represents Russia. 46 fights, 32, 33 wins, 11 KO. Also, I have to point out, he did take this fight late notice. So uh, hats off to him. It's a real fighter, a real fighter's heart. You take it late notice. Looking confident as he steps to the ring. Well, there he is, Saeed Cairo. <laughs> well, the man fighting out of the blue corner representing Morocco, 26 years old. Stands in at 175 centimeters with 13 fights on his record, seven victories and five defeats, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Arabic Scorpion, and his name is Marwan Ekla. His opponent in the red corner, representing Russia, 30 years old, stands in at 180 centimeters tall. 46 fights on this record, 33 victories and 13 defeats. 11 of his winning fights by way of knockout. Explosive, Zaid Zaidov! When this reserve fight in the 8 TKO tournament is scheduled for three rounds of three minutes. In case of a draw, we have an extra mustering round. This fight is sponsored by Room 165 and the referee is Mr. Redwan Amra. Okay, listen guys, you know the rules, huh? Listen always to my okay, command. Stop, bre stop, stop, break is break. Yes? Okay. Any questions? Shake hands if you want. Step back. Oh, class, just a little bit shorter of the uh, two fighters. So here they come as they meet into the centre. Class in the blue gloves. Zahirov in the bench. We'll start with the low kicks, nice high kick for Zahid. off. It was a very slow knee. <laughs> yeah, slow knee. 
So remember, these two are not actually in the rankings so as nice we have at the moment. Left and right hook from Zayrov. Zayrov. Nice hard right hook and then followed up with the knee and the spinning back kick. Nice work from him. Yeah. Like I said, he's an explosive guy, knows how to fight. Oh, that was a nice but Oh, that was a nice bunch and a nice knee. Really on fire tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good combination. Like I said, he's a very technical guy. And Ron the Glas, just, you know, just one punch, just walking forward. Yeah, he's just walking yeah. into the shots at yes. the moment. Hard shots. Nice uppercut from Marwan. Nice uppercut from Zaid. Zarov. Opening the guards. Oh, that was a nice one two combination from Zaidov. Oh, oh, heavy power nice, in these shots. Nice push kick. Just literally one way. Uh, Julie. Seems to be at the moment. Yeah. I like Cyrus' style. Yeah. Looking very calm, but picking great shots. And normally he's more explosive than what he shows now, but I think it's the weather. So. Beautiful. Nice hiking. Really nice combination. Nice body shot. Seeds out of. Nice up cut back from Aglas. Knows he needs to do something. Oh, that was a nice spinning. Fancy. Yeah. Kick. And you see, Ronald Glas had respect for it. He was laughing. He gave him a, a hand. Good right hand to the body, left kick to the head. Yeah, if I was saying I would put more my, my body in the punches. Just for now, he's punching and leaning back. That was a nice combination from Marona Glas. Yeah. Only <laughs> too late. Come to life in the last ten. Yeah. Well, in on the right eye, that man goes around and just pushes. Nice round for Syro. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Showing uh, real skill. He, he has a lot of skills. And yeah, like I said, normally he's more explosive. And I like his style very much, but. And a couple of years he didn't fight much. He used to be a sparring, sparring partner uh, at the gym. Your sparring partner? Yeah, a long time ago. Really? Long time. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Trained, he trained with us. Oh, nice. A long time ago. Nice. Well, he's 30 now, you know. Yeah. He's not on the younger side of the, the fighter's yeah, age. Indeed, but he still can do it. Yeah, definitely. He's got the experience. Because I was 21 when I started with kickboxing, so. <laughs> there we go. I see a side low kick from the Zahid. Oh, we missed good left hook. Yeah. Good head movement back. Missed and then in the left hook. Marwan is more looking for the KO. He, I think he's hunting it down as well. He's yeah. saving himself. Covering quite a lot. Oh, another one. Nice left body kick. Nice. Yeah, that was nice. Good right hand nice right after, hand. lovely. Shove it off. Goes for it again. You like it that much to nod, have another one. Nice uppercut from Marwan. Oh, hard shots yeah. going in here. Yeah. 
beautiful work, skimming that uppercut, good spinning kick. Body nice body kicks. kicks, nice scission knee. Body shots going in, just yeah. wearing that body down. Nice body shot from Zahid Zarov. He's picking Morona Glas apart and just taking his points. It's a one way show. I think only the Hell Mary can save Morona Glas. Nice body shot from Zahid. Here we go, last ten. That was even showboating. <laughs> A little tap as yeah. he goes back for the break. Really nice show there. Yeah. It's a one-way show. Zahid is one who's dictating the fight. And she's going to the body, to the head. Really heavy shot. Yeah. And Marona Glas is just in his guard all the time. Definitely. So we're backstage. Is uh, need for anything to worry about? He's talking about a previous injury where he broke his foot, but it was some time ago. Maybe he's feeling it. Not too sure. He's got a smile on his face, so I don't think it's anything to worry about. Touch your gloves. Here we go. Round number three for this surf fight. He just picked it up when he left it. Nice uppercut from him. Center. Oh, first, looking for that big right hand yeah, over the like top now. He's trying. Only KO, nice combination, but it's only. I don't know. This is. Oh. Oh. Okay. He, he, he Just dislocated re his. Repositioned his knee. Okay. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know uh, this is the third or fourth fighter who just started in the third round to fight. Yeah. Like, wake up in the first yeah. round. I don't know why they leave it to the last round. I don't know. If you know you're two rounds behind, yeah. come on. Dropping away at the leg still. Oh, with the upper hand. Oh, that was a no. kick right between the legs. Immediately apologize for it. The action. Better work from our class now. Kick. Left body kick. As I said before, Sarov has got a really nice style. Yeah. How would you see him faring against some of the guys who've got three semi files if he had to come in? Uh, uh, we have him ahead on this, obviously. Yeah, it is. It's a different uh, level. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I like the guy, but Yusuf is too, too dangerous for him. Smiley is too dangerous for him. Hope is too dangerous for him. <laughs> um, I will like him to fight more. 
uh, of or Laret. The other guys are too, you know, too experienced for him. Really building those hooks up there, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And like I said, he didn't fight for a long time, so... Great performance. Yeah, he did. it's a great performance. If he has more fights, then I would say, yeah, match him up against uh, the big names in the yeah. at the Fusion. So, but for now, no, he doesn't make a chance. L-Class has yeah. really had nah, nothing, just, left nothing left to give. He's a sitting duck in the corner. Yeah, that's it. We're in the end of the third round. The hands high of Tarab. Alkaya's body language totally different. Because he knows he's short, he knows he lost the uh, fight, so... Yeah, he's battered a bruise, I yeah. think. Go to the highlights, and then we see... Zayt Zayanov just picking Marwan Akhlas apart. He was dictating the fight, he was making the clear shots. Uh, yeah, what can I say? He, he needs to work on his power because, and he has to use his body for more power. But that's something he can work on in the gym or at the kickboxing school he's uh, attending. He worked beautiful body, body head. He did a very good job. The third round is. Basically the same, only this time uh, Moran Aglas was fighting back, basically. But at the end of the round, he was in his cornered up, and uh, Zaid Zarov did his thing, basically. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, your applause for these two fighters, Marwan Elklas and Zaid Zarov. After three rounds of three minutes, we have a winner. The winner is the man in the red corner, Zaid Zarov. Well, congratulations, you won our tournament reserve fight this evening. There's a small chance we could see you again later. How was that match for you? Yeah, it was good because uh, I fought two weeks ago and this match, uh, I didn't train for a week. And this match I take uh, Wednesday evening, but you know that. So yeah, I think I can try and uh, I did it. So it, uh, it was good and thank you for the aud audience. You are great, it's a full house. So thank you very much. It was a great performance. I really enjoyed it. You was controlled. You was landing your shots and timing very nicely. Congratulations. And a true fighter's heart for taking a fight late notice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Possibly see you later. Good luck. Coming up, the 8 TKO 70.